Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my um, wish list, like for planner stuff. I just wanted to share the wish list just to get you guys opinion and see if there's anything else I might need to add that could help enhance my planning experience as well as my channel so I can have the best content that I can have for you guys. So yeah, just let me know and let's get started. So I got my little chunky planner here that I just made over, so cute. I told you after my last video, I was gonna add a whole bunch more stuff and I did. I added like 10 more magnets, a whole bunch of paper clips, a million pictures, <laughs> and I'm holding it by, this is just a simple hair tie. And I threw some charms together and put it on there. So that's what holds it together. Cute little dashboards that I cut, SpongeBob, my favorite. Yeah, here's my wish list. So I'm just gonna just, I guess, pretty much read it and just explain why. And then I also want you guys' opinion as well and like maybe what you have that could also help. So I want a glue gun solely because I feel like I saw a video where you can make your own pen loop and I have no idea what kind of glue she used. I thought I could just use super glue, but it didn't work. So then my boyfriend was like, try fabric glue, but I don't have that. So um, I know glue guns are really good with like fabric stuff and DIY. So might as well just do the whole shebang and get that. I do want to get another cart. If you um, haven't seen my video where I built my planner space, you should definitely check that out. I have a, I guess it's gold, rose goldish. No, I think it's gold. It's um, a gold cart that I got from Michaels. It was on sale. So it's like $30, easy to put together, and it's very durable, and it rolls, so it's really cute. I want a laminator, solely because um, I want to eventually start making my own covers with my own pictures, so that I don't have to pay for really big planner covers and cut them to fit my micro, unless it's something that I really want, and it's not in my size. But I do want to get my own laminator so that I can, um, make my own covers, maybe laminate some pictures for better durability, stuff like that. I want a die cutter. Um, I don't know. I just know they're good at cutting stuff and you can measure it and everything. So I think that'll be really helpful when I'm trying to um, cut papers and do little DIYs to add into my planner. So I want a die cutter. Um, in my last video, if you haven't seen that where I give my planner a makeover, someone mentioned getting a corner rounder. I guess that's to round the corners of, you know, your planner covers, which makes completely sense to then think about that. Because normally, I just, you know, cut it to make it round. But, yeah, a corner rounder would probably be really helpful. And if you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check out that. There's a lot of videos you should check out because I try to tie them all together so that, you know, we all stay on the same page here and learn together. Especially if you're using a planner this small. It's a lot of little things you have to do to make it into a planner because it doesn't come as a planner. Unless you just go on Etsy and I guess buy pre-made stuff. I want more magnets. For some reason, I think magnets are just so cute. Like, I don't know why. They're just, I don't know. They're just so cute to me. And um, they just add a little bit of flair and they're good bookmarks too. So, magnets. Um, I said more discs just because I guess if I want to change it up, I could change it up. So I definitely want more discs, but I don't know if I want like a whole crazy collection to the point where I'm storing like 80 discs of one color. I don't know if I want that, but I do want different kinds of discs that I could work with and put together. Um, on here, I put a charms kit. I know in the future I want to be able to uh, make my own like little store and make my own charms for my planner and eventually sell them. So I, I just put it a star because it's not like right away, but it's soon. You know, I just said clamps, beads, string, charms, little stuff to put together. So I'll put that on there. I put a planner cover. Now that's one thing I do want to go on Etsy to look for, but the only problem is I can't find one that fits the expander disc because they're so big. So 
I don't know. If you know one that could fit the expander disc, please let me know below in the comments because I've been looking around and a lot of the Etsy stores aren't, you know, selling certain things anymore. So I'm trying. Please let me know. I did say planner bands. I might try to create one my own or go on Etsy because, I mean, I love this. But really, y'all, a hair tie? Really? <laughs> but I love it, though. It gets the job done. So, hey. Um, sticker books, I do. That's a, um, a collection that I really want to have. I do want to have, like, a ton of sticker books. A whole collection that I could be able to show. And I want to try to use all my stickers. I don't know if I will. But, of course, you know, I don't like to waste stuff. So, it's going to be used for something. So, I definitely want a lot of sticker books. I do want to get charms, like, you know, pre-made charms that might go with the theme of my planner. And last but not least, a camera printer. So I already own one and I will talk about it in a separate video just in case, you know, I can recommend it to you guys because I do like it, but I might want to upgrade it. So, um, yeah, it's a good printer actually, like the Spongebob picture that you just saw. It printed that and it actually came out really good. It just depends on the lighting of your pictures. But it's called the Polaroid Zip. So pretty good um, portable camera printer thing. So, But I think I want to upgrade it to have better quality of some pictures. Like family members and stuff like that. Of people that I want to carry around in my planner. So that's pretty much it. That's my wish list. So I put that to put in my planner to just manifest and get it little by little and hopefully it'll enhance my planner experience a hundred percent and hopefully it'll you know boost my content too because you know I love the content that I make now but man some people really be DIYing some stuff and I do want to get to the point where I could DIY good enough it ain't got to be perfect because trust me I'm pretty lazy so DIY is not always my thing but I definitely want to get to a point where I could DIY really good. So, yeah, this is my wish list. In the comments below, I want you guys to put um, what you think I could maybe get to enhance the content or planning experience. Or you can put what you already have, like a review if you want to let me know if you like it or recommend something. And just let me know because, you know, I will be going shopping soon. Hopefully when all this quarantine stuff is over and I get my money back right. But... I just wanted to share my wish list, get you guys' opinions. So, like, subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned. I'll be seeing you guys later.